Buongiorno! This time we go to World of Black Metal with Vampires. Now, vampires have always been kind of a fascinating, horrible creatures, so um, not can really, one cannot really wonder, you know, but understand uh, why vampires and black metal are so much tied together. I mean, you have blood raining, you have these horrible creatures, you have uh, the kind of a uh, weird charisma, and of course, topics like, you know, nocturnal adventures, bats and full moon and all that stuff. So, once again, we have a band that incorporates these topics together. This one is Morgulak with a vampire. A vampire is born. Can't really say a vampire. This one is a uh, release through Dogger Than Black, which is known for some rather controversial bands uh, coming out. And one could say this is controversial because, well, vampires, vampires are so controversial creatures. Not really. Um, one could even say this is controversial because it sounds like Satanic War Master, and we all know it's a controversial band. Now, jokes aside. This one comes from Italy, from a city known as Pavia Lombardi, uh, founded in 2021. So, sounds like a lot of like a COVID side project. If you take a look at this members list, well, you can pretty much see that the least other guy has quite a few projects, while there is no mention for the drums slash keyboards, dude. So, whether or not this is more of a side project or a whole new band, well, doesn't really matter, because what obviously is the most important thing is if the music is good. And I'm happy to tell you, this is actually pretty, pretty damn good. Now, there are some parts which I wouldn't praise so much, but let's start with the good stuff, because that's mostly what's happening with this Morkolak release. Now, this one is the kind of a melodic yet raw end of black metal. One could say this is definitely st stepping onto, or more like tapping into, the finish one of uh, black metal, especially the more melodic and raw kind, namely, but not only limited to bands such as Satanic Warmaster. So it's raw, and it's kind of a melancholic, it's kind of a uh, cheesy at some points, and it's definitely very, very melodic, even catchy at some points. So, this connection with Satanic Warmaster is not something that I and only me and am um, having, you know, imagination about. Actually, when I was adding this band to a similar artist staff for Satanic Warmaster, I noticed a couple of other people have spotted that similarity as well. So, there is that. But meanwhile, Satanic Warmaster de deals with a lot of other topics than just, you know, vampires and shit like that. This is definitely focusing on that kind of stuff. One could even say there is maybe some French... Uh, black metal noir kind of a connection going on, but I don't know, I wouldn't go too much wondering about where this album is, or this band is getting its, you know, influences from, because there might be a lot of different kind of stuff. What is kind of a different, then again, is the use of synthesizer quite a lot here, and some of them are quite cheesy. There's something like uh, very retro-ish in the terms of, you know, kind of a 1990s dungeon synth part, and why I'm using quotation marks here is the reason that, you know, back in the 90s, Nobody really called it Dungeon Shunt. It's later on used a kind of a subgenre for music that is very much retro synth driven, but not exactly being, you know, synth wave or all that stuff. But these synth parts, whether they're coming from, you know, video games back in the 80s and 90s, or whether it's coming from artists such as Mortis and the like, they are very much present here. Some of them are really, really cheesy and they kind of bring a smile on your face. And for a lot of people, it might be a good thing. For some people, it might be like, what the hell? Definitely giving some personality and uniqueness to this kind of a release. So I kind of like it. Now, some of the melodies are more like, you know, kind of a filler stuff, whereas there are parts, you know, which are like, yeah, these are really good. So overall, verdict would be say, this is a good album. Not exactly great, but definitely going to the right direction. So personally, I would say I'm really, really interested in hearing the band in the future as well. And I hope this is just, this is not yet another side project which is just going to fall apart or going on a long hiatus once COVID is, you know, more or less beaten and gigs and whatever events start happening again and then people focus more on the uh, main bands and forget these kind of uh, side projects. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is a side project, but it certainly looks like one and that is the big question mark for this kind of band, like whether or not there is going to be a sequel to this kind of a release. Be as main, uh, I think you should give this one a chance if you don't mind the roar end of melodic black metal. So don't expect anything too 
hourly polished or honed kind of a melodic black metal thinking of the more say Swedish style especially but you know the kind of a fitting style of black metal and you're pretty much good to go and figure out with kind of what kind of a album this is all about so definitely worth taking a shot uh, check out the links provided in the description box to find out more and should you have any comments or questions please do let me know and I'll do my best to answer your questions uh, meanwhile let's go vampire ah!